everybody. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you for joining me. What an amazing day it has been so far. Busy day with the turkey and the stuffing and the family and the visitors and all the things, but it's been so excellent. There is literally nothing more that would wrap up my day than to spend a few minutes with you guys um, talking about Christmas. I know, I know, Thanksgiving isn't even over yet. Black Friday's tomorrow, and it seems like it's a rush. It seems like it's just a little too much all at once, but I just want to share with you guys 20 amazing Christmas gifts for her. Hey, Michael, thank you for joining me. Happy Thanksgiving. What an amazing day. Please let me know if you had a good day and what your favorite part of the day was. What are you thankful for? I did really try to hone in on spending that time with family and friends and just enjoying the day. You know, it's easy to get carried away and get stressed about all the things, but really in the big picture, we just need to be grateful for all the things that we do have because we really are blessed. So this is gonna take me a little time. We're doing something a little different today. I'm not showing you how to do these crafts, but I'm gonna show you 20, I may sneak in a few more than 20, um, ideas, gifts for her for the holiday season. Now you can use these gifts for birthday presents, for other events, whatever, but I thought this is a good opportunity. We're a month away from Christmas. This is way more time than you'll need for making or purchasing any of these presents, but I thought, if you're just not sure what to give the outdoorsy girl in your life, these are some great ideas. So if you have any questions, please drop them in the comments. I'll try to catch them while we're on, but if not, I will look at them after and answer. I either have all of these things or can get you the things that you need to make them or kind of point you in the direction on where you can get them. So let's get started. Now I'm gonna move around a little bit, so bear with me because I have 20 plus items kind of laying around me that I'm gonna walk you through. So, number one. Now, one thing I also want to mention is don't think, you know, like this first example is going to have some duck wings in it. Think outside the box. Think, uh, maybe I don't have duck wings, but I might have pheasant wings or I might have some other kind of wings that you can put in here. My first idea is a shadow box. <laughs> no, don't mind the fact that I think these are two different wings from two different birds, but the idea is you do a shadow box of some kind with wings and maybe you could put a phrase or a saying up here. You could put a picture in here with these wings. Maybe you've gone duck hunting with her. Maybe she just loves duck hunting. This is a great idea. So this is idea number one. I'm going to set this down. If I move out of view, it's just because I'm setting things down. Number two, shotgun shell wreath. Now, again, like I said, think outside the box. Other things that she might like in the outdoors that you can put in wreath form. This is just one idea. And what I will try to do is link videos in the comments below to all these different projects that we've done on our Facebook Live. So maybe you can get some ideas on how to do this. Most of these projects are super, super inexpensive. That's one of the things that we like is sharing inexpensive ways that you can bring these things from the outdoors in to help um, remember those amazing experiences that you had in the outdoors. Uh, and for her, if she loves the outdoors, that's what she's going to love. It's not spending tons of money. It's bringing some of those memories back into her everyday life so she can be surrounded by them, so she can see them and enjoy them every day. Number two, shotgun wreath. Number three, coasters. Follow your arrow, a deer. Now we would burn these, but think outside the box as well. Get creative. What does she like about the outdoors? We can wood burn almost anything into these things and we can point you in the right direction on how to get them. Hey, Alan, happy Thanksgiving. Thank you for joining me. I hope you had a fantastic day. Um, so number two, uh, number three was coasters, or you can do these as ornaments. Drill a hole. You can either paint these draw on them. We would burn them, but again, you can get these online or slice them yourself. That's what we're doing as well. Uh, so three was coasters slash ornament. Number four, feather lamp. Now, this one is a little ginormous. It's a goose lamp that I made, uh, but we do these in all different kinds. Pheasant, turkey, duck, you name it, goose, any kind of feather I can get my hand on, that's what I'm making into a feather lamp here. So um, 
if you have something like this, like feathers are laying around, this is so simple. Probably one of the easiest things you can do. So again, I'll attach some videos down below, but number four is a feather lamp, okay? Number five, coffee cups. Who doesn't love coffee? If she's an outdoor girl, she probably loves coffee or tea. It gives you a little bit of boost in the morning. So what we have as an example are these little deer footprint uh, coffee mugs that we've, that we've painted up. So this is just an excellent way to enjoy your coffee in the morning. A little inspiration for your hunt. Maybe some turkey feet on here. Not just deer. I mean, we hunt everything. So maybe we could uh, get creative and give her a whole set. You could put deer footprints on one, turkey, pheasants, raccoons. Hey, we could go wild with this. So that's your idea for number five is personalized coffee mugs. Number six, what do I have on that? I'm trying to read my list at the same time. Hmm, oh, silhouette art, pardon me. Okay, so we have here silhouette art. Now, this is just poster board. This was a dollar frame. All I did was paint the outside black. I took some fur, which you can get full fur, or if you have some hides, this particular hide was from my son's bear that we hunted in Canada. And you, if you look real close, it's actually real bear fur. So whatever the fur is, you could do a silhouette of that animal. Maybe you have some leftover pieces from a mount or something like that. Or just the memory. You know, get some full fur, do the silhouette. All you literally have to do is print out the outline online, draw it on here, cut it out with a knife, and stick that fur on the back side, and you'll be set. This is amazing. I mean, she would absolutely love this, especially if it was maybe from some fur that she already had or just from a memory. Maybe maybe you didn't even maybe you didn't even harvest anything. Maybe you went on a bear hunt and you just wanted to commemorate it by saying had a great time, you know, can't wait for the next time or whatever. Get creative. Silhouette art is idea number 6. And pardon the noise of the cars. I have all this stuff out on the porch. So we gotta deal with Thanksgiving crazies driving on the road tonight. Okay, so number seven is etched cutting board. Maybe you've seen this before, but what we did was we took this pattern, we um, used this moose with the mustache, and then I just created this myself. Wild tastes better. And it does, doesn't it? Let's just be honest. So. <laughs> So, um, although moose isn't something that's around here in Wisconsin, uh, this would be your idea number seven, etched cutting board. However, although I don't have other samples to show you, I had so many other ideas. Etched wood hangers, etched spoons, wood burned anything. She would love it. So moose, deer, raccoons, whatever her outdoor favorite thing is, etch it into a cutting board or hangers or spoons, it's gonna be a win. Okay, so that is your idea number seven, etched cutting board or etched other materials. Pinterest it, you'll go crazy. Number eight, basket with antlers. So simple, okay. Now this is just a staple here at the Gady household. Look at this. I see this and I see memories, 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 memories. It's crazy, like how many antlers we have around the house in these baskets. And I can almost assure you that most of the kids in the house can tell you exactly where every single one of these came from. So this is just a simple example. If you're not sure what to get her and she really wants some outdoorsy decor, go online, buy some antlers, buy a cute basket, and it will be a win. Toss a little ribbon on there and you'll be set. So that was idea number eight, basket of antlers. I won't even begin to spend time with the different kinds of antlers, so we'll just leave it at that for now. Number nine. Whoop. Glittered antlers. Well, glittered deadhead, I guess, is what this is. But something just a little bit uh, more girly. I mean, I love a good mount, uh, like the next person. But there's something about this glittering that just gives it a little holiday spirit, gives a little more feminine touch, and I just love glitter. So we're just gonna leave it at that. Idea number nine is glittered deadhead, I guess you would call this. 
If you have any questions about this or for those of you just joining us, if you have any questions about any of these ideas, I'm going to leave some video links in the comments below on how you can make them, where you can get the supplies. But otherwise, we're basically just going through my top 20 list of Christmas ideas for her. Don't worry, guys. Next week, we're doing Christmas gifts for him. If you have any ideas for yourself, if you'd really like to share some ideas with your girlfriend, your spouse, whatever, drop them in the comments below. What do you want this holiday spirit, this holiday season? Because for outdoorsy people, you either have it, it's either too expensive, it's, maybe you don't want somebody picking those kind of things out. All of these ideas are super inexpensive. And for the most part, a lot of these are things that you have laying around the house. So number nine is glittered antlers, just for her. She's gonna love these. All right, number 10, fur pillows. I know, faux fur, real fur, you can get them all, but every time I see a fur pillow, it makes me wanna snuggle with it. So guys, I think it's only fair to see. If you see fur pillows, snuggling, this could be a win-win. So pick yourself up some fur pillows, give them to her for Christmas. Fur pillows, number 10. Number 11, antler wreath, of course. Right behind me. I showed you guys this last week, I think last week, on one of our lives. These are reindeer antlers, but we went through the whole spiel. You can use any, any antlers you want to. So get creative, pull out those old antlers. Don't worry, you don't have to tie them in there for a lifetime. They, for a season only, so you don't have to worry about giving up your whole basket of antlers. But number 11 is an antler wreath. Number 12, jewelry. You can find tons of outdoorsy jewelry online. This is my all-time favorite. I just have to show you. So isn't that adorable? I know. It's super inexpensive. So we sell those here. I can share with you how to buy those. Um, and other things that uh, I really, really like. Whoa! It's getting away from me. Is Look at this. Little antler ring. And a little bracelet that says hunting girl. Oh, you can't see that, but it says hunting girl. Trust me. So necklace, bracelet, and earrings, that whole set, why wouldn't she love that? Okay, so jewelry, number 12. Uh, oh, number 13 was the ring and the bracelet. 14. Whoop, right in front of me. Antler, uh, fur stool. You gotta hide not you're going to hide. You have an animal hide, a deer hide, bear hide, wolf, whatever you've got laying around, you're not sure what to do with, or you can purchase them very, very easily. Have an antique stool or a cute little stool that you know that she would love. Put that on here. It's amazing. Super soft, super beautiful. Will bring back awesome memories of you guys spending outdoors together, time outdoors together, or a promise of a future hunt. Maybe you're giving her a hunt for Christmas. Come on, now that would just top this all off. But <laughs> realistically, um, it just is a really beautiful piece that rem reminds us of being in the outdoors, reminds us of hunting. Uh, so if she loves hunting, she would love this. All right, so that is number 14, first stool. Number 15 is feather ornaments. This is super, super simple, guys. Um, get yourself some of these plastic bulbs from Walmart or Hobby Lobby, wherever you, wherever is close to you. You probably don't shop there regularly, but uh, they're plastic, so you really can't mess this up. Plastic and on the inside, I have duck feathers in this one, but you can put pheasant feathers like I have in this one. All you have to do is open the top. It's plastic, so you don't have to worry about it. Open the top, shove all those feathers inside, and you have a beautiful piece of memory decor reminds her of going duck hunting or pheasant hunting, whatever she likes. You could put fur in there. You could, the sky's the limit. So that is number 15. Number 16 is back to the hides. Now this is a white tail hide, uh, but what I'm planning to make with it, and I also have a reindeer hide that I'm going to do this with, I'm going to cut it. Now this is a soft tan, this thing has a tail. I have a soft tanned hide and I'm gonna be cutting this into smaller round circles, maybe three feet by three feet. 
and we're going to use them outdoors by the fire. So if you lay this over your log that you're sitting on or your chair, it's just going to keep your backside a little warmer when you're outside having that fire in the blizzard or in the snow, enjoying the beautiful weather in the winter because we're here in Wisconsin and winter is a long time. So if we locked ourselves up inside, that would be a sad long winter. So no, we get out there and have campfires and have a great time, but it would be nice to have something warm to sit on, protect yourself from the cold, and that's exactly what I'm gonna do with these. So your idea number 16 is getting a hide from one of your local tanneries or go online, you can buy these, and cutting it into smaller sections, maybe rolling them up with a ribbon, and along with that, you're gonna give her some fire starters. Now we make these, Hunter, my son makes these, uh, they are amazing. So that is one of your gift ideas as well would be seats and the fire starters for your winter fire. It's going to be a win-win. Hey, Michael. Oh, <laughs> thank you so much. Well, it's a lot of brainstorming. It's a lot of just making a mess around the house, Michael. I'm not going to lie. Uh, but it's really, really the, my true start with creating these projects and having these ideas. I'm wanting to share them with you guys is we have a family of six people and we spend tons of times in the outdoor. So I'm always bringing stuff home. And at some point, eventually, I just looked around and said, we have to make some st something out of these things because I had boxes and baskets of all sorts of things, sticks and pine cones and all these things. And I thought, surely we have to be able to make some use out of this, especially these hides, the duck feathers, all of the things that, you know, a lot of times until, until recent years, people throw them away. I mean, that's just the way that it goes, but not anymore. We're gonna make some use out of this stuff. So again, seats for around the fire with some fire starters, maybe a couple coffee cups like this and put some hot cocoa in there. That would be like a date night, man. That would be awesome. That would, that would really be awesome. A whole box. We could really get creative with this. So the hide for the winter seats is idea number 16. Number 17, since it's still turkey season here in Wisconsin, or is it? Maybe we're at the tail end. Um, you will see a lot of places, all these different painted feathers. So they paint all sorts of amazing things on here. This one has a turkey on it, but you can get them with bears on it or cougars or whatever you like, you know, whatever she likes, raccoons or not even outdoorsy things, sunsets, all different things. You can get painted feathers. If you go onto Pinterest or go onto Etsy, you can find all sorts of different ways that people have painted these feathers and then they frame them. So my idea number 17 is a painted feather of some kind. Now don't freak out. You don't have to paint. This one you can buy, unless you're feeling artsy. Give it a try. It's really not that hard. Paints are super expensive. So are the turkey feathers, unless you have some of your own, which is even cheaper. Think about how inexpensive that could be. Um, so your painted feathers, idea number 17. Idea number 18 is, and we've got all sorts of different sizes like this, but basically this is an antler hanger, like hat hanger, jewelry hanger, clothes hanger. Basically we just put, took a piece of barn board, took these antler tips, which you can either use from your own antlers maybe you have laying around. You can get them on Amazon. Um, and then basically just put a hanger on the backside. You screw these antlers in here and you can hang, I have kind of a hat obsession, so I hang my hats on them, uh, but you can hang jewelry. She could hang all sorts of things on there. Maybe her, you know, nightgown or whatever she's got to hang up. Um, so this is your idea number 18. It's an antler hanger. Lots and lots of different uses and all sorts of different sizes. We have long, long ones, really wide ones, but this was a teeny tiny one that I could show you and it has this cute little claw antler on that I really like. <laughs> um, so 19 was the fire starter set. Um, framed feathers. I also wanted to show you a few random ideas because it is Thanksgiving and I wanted to show off some ideas using turkey feathers. So these weren't on the list, but I wanted to show them to you anyway. All this was, is this one of these cardboard cones and I put turkey feathers on them. So you can't see the whole piece, but it's like a centerpiece just with these turkey feathers. So for Christmas, if you bought a couple of these cones 
and you had a couple, just even 20 or 30 of these turkey feathers, this is beautiful. They're like Christmas trees, turkey trees. <laughs> so I love these. So if you have any interest in making something like this or buying something like this, please just drop a comment below or send me a message and I can definitely help you out because it's one of the simplest projects you can do and inexpensive. That's important. So one of these, she would love this and you're never ever going to find this at a box store. So yeah, turkey feather, framed turkey feathers. If your girl likes to turkey hunt, or maybe she doesn't even turkey hunt, but she just loves the outdoors. This is an amazing way just to show off the beauty of the turkey feathers. So this would be idea number 20 is framed feathers. Now, again, think outside the box. Pheasant feathers, turkey feathers, duck feathers, whatever kind of feathers you can get your hands on. You can color them different colors. You can buy all sorts of different crazy colored feathers. So this is just another way that you can... Uh, try something new and it's just a different way to to share something like this not everybody harvests a turkey and wants to mount it on the wall maybe you just want to show off the beauty of the feathers so that would be idea number 20. i do have another couple random things Whoop. um journals outdoor journals girls love to journal guys love to journal too if given the opportunity so outdoor themed journals. So, you know, everything is on our phone all the time, but sometimes it's good just to write things down by pen or pencil or however you like to do it. I actually keep one up in the tree stand because I like to document what I see when I see it um, in the box blind, of course. If I'm in a tree stand, I'm just using my phone. But, and it's kind of fun in a, in a box blind where people, other people hunt. You could keep one up in there and then whoever hunts there could leave a note. Hey, I hunted on this day and saw this or whatever. So outdoor journals is another idea. Back to the coffee mugs. We have a whole set. There you go. Outdoor themed pink camel. It doesn't have to be pink, but I just wanted to show you. She could have her whole breakfast in here and be like, man, I am going to harvest one big boy today. Wouldn't that give you inspiration? I love it. Uh, let's see. What else do we have? I have a lot of stuff. Oh, I got two more, and then I'm going to let you guys go. All right, this one is magnets. These are made out of shotgun shell, the metal part. So we've got big ones, little ones, and we sell these. You can buy these on Etsy. You can make them yourself. You use the metal part, and you put a little magnet on the inside with some hot glue, and off you go. So these are just some examples. You can get something like that. She would love that because then she could use these to post those pictures of her spending time in the outdoors up on her refrigerator. She would love that. And last but not least, I have the antler like jewelry hanger. We put this on a piece of wood and we actually marked it with Sweden. I used my wood burner to put the word Sweden in there um, and use this reindeer antler because that's where I found this one. Isn't that beautiful? But you could use a, a moose antler, a elk, reindeer, whitetail, whatever you have or whatever you want to use, depending on where you're from and what kind of memories you've shared. Uh, this is super, super simple. Drill a hole in the bottom of here. You drill a screw right through the bottom and you don't have to personalize it. You can just put it on a piece of wood and it's beautiful. So that's probably idea number 24. I know I told you I'd give you 20, but I'm almost out of breath. There are so many ideas and Christmas is a month away. I'm telling you, if you picked one of these ideas, she would be in love with it because you cannot buy things like this at the store and it's going to be one of a kind. It's going to be from you, from your heart, and it's going to remind her of spending time in the outdoors and it's going to remind her of spending time with you. So that's it, folks. Top 20-ish ideas for Christmas presents for her. So let me know in the comments below if you have any questions, if you like this idea, or ladies, if you'd like to share this idea with other people, maybe your significant other will see this shared on your page. Share it with your friends on Facebook, on Instagram. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Some of the crafts you make, Michael. Yes, absolutely, I do. I do, I do. If there's something that you're interested in, drop me a comment below or send me a private message and I would love to direct you to where you can find those things. Um, and yeah, so again, share this with your friends if you like on their Facebook page to spread the word about all the amazing ideas that you guys can 
make for your girlfriends, for your wives, your daughters, your mothers, whoever likes the outdoors. Thank you so much for joining me today because it's Thanksgiving and most of all, I'm thankful for you guys. I'm thankful for every single one of you who takes time to watch these videos and share them with your friends because it's just fun. It's fun. I love building this community. I love spending time with you guys and sharing in all the conversations that we have. Uh, be sure if you're not already doing it, like our page so that you can get notification when, you, when we make other videos. And that's it. So if you have questions again, please drop them down below. Otherwise, if you hadn't been with us before, you will find us here every Thursday, even on the holidays, every Thursday, 8 p.m. Central, right here on Facebook Live. Otherwise, you can check us out on our website, ifeeltherest.com, YouTube, Instagram, all the things, all the places. But mostly, thank you so much. I'm so grateful for every single one of you. And I look forward to chatting with you again. Happy Thanksgiving. Bye.